Hello, uh, welcome to the second edition of Second HI English Video YouTube Post. On this YouTube Post, we're going to talk about some important uh, aspects and some important news and forms of farming that are nowadays important for us as agriculture. And this, these are the vertical farming, vertical farms. Well, what are those vertical farms? But first of all, we're going to talk about which are the issues that make us do or go to vertical farms. For example, uh, as the population grows up, everything grows up, including the cities, constructions, buildings, and this means that we need to expand our houses, buildings, where we live and where we work. With this comes a decreasing size and amount of arable soil for agriculture. And what does this mean? So as the way as, as the population grows up, there's going to be a moment where we won't be able to produce in our own lands or soils. We won't have enough soil to produce for all the population. So what is coming due to this? With the vertical farming is a new technology where we can apply different advances and technologies that are found and discovered each day. Uh, principle of vertical farming is like a building where we grow up crops in a system where we don't need so much soil, so much energy, and inclusive, it's a minimum use of water. These vertical farmings work with some solar panels. We can find so many um, types of vertical farms. I produce so um, a great and grand variety of crops. But in my opinion, I think it's a, a great advantage, a, a great step for agriculture because it's true, as way as we grow up, we won't have enough space. Including with these uh, environmental changes, we, would, we don't know when a crop or when something could happen to our crops. And with these type of farms, we're sure and we know that we're going to have a good production because we control everything since the, uh, the use of this light, of water and, and nutrients for the plants. And it's easier to keep them away from some insects and diseases that could affect our crop production. And another, another question that we can make to us is that could, combine, could these vertical farms change or replace the conventional farming? And for me, I think it, it could, it's a good idea because uh, we can inclusive reduce a lot, of, a lot of costs with these type of farms, have a better productions, and, and as I already said, we are going, we're going and we're going to keep growing and maybe there's going to be a point where we won't be able. So what, and we will need to eat always and the population keeps growing up and between the buildings or we can inclusive produce into a city these types of farms and that would help us to supply a great amount of our food uh, productions but what I don't know is that maybe what about uh, crops that need for example trees how are, how are we going to get that those productions in vertical farm maybe in a, fur, in a future we could discover that and find out a way to do it and is there any way San Morano could improve its education to help us in our future jobs and yes it is we have uh, a model uh, that it's called uh, tissue culture where we learn how to produce in small in small cups or small bottles of glass how to produce and reproduce plants and 
so I, if I have just a small cup with a tiny root, we can produce like 10 more plants from that root in a small glass. And after that, I can go to the field and plant it and watch its, its process. And in, the, in that glass, uh, we, can, we supply the nutrients and all the, all the plant needs by some synthetic nutrients that we can find in the market that are now able for us and available for the people to start producing in this way. So this is a great advantage and a great experience that we have here in Samorana that help us to innovate and to know and learn new techniques for the future of farming. Thanks.